Time now 607 new data from the CDC found that gun violence is getting worse and it's disproportionately impacting our children and teens. 22 News reporter Melissa Torres is live in the studio with a closer look at local efforts to address gun violence. Well, the CDC found that children and teens are more likely to die because of guns than car crashes, drug overdoses, and even cancer. Gun-related deaths among children in the U.S. reach an alarming peak. Guns claim nearly 5,000 young lives and surpass the record total seen during the first year of the pandemic. More than 80% of the gun deaths were among men 19 and younger. Young black men were more likely to die from homicide, while young white men were more likely to kill themselves with guns. Springfield law enforcement, along with Mayor Sarno, addressed the recent uptick in gun violence across the city of Springfield. According to Springfield police, there were 21 shooting incidents between June 1st to August 14th of this year, compared to 20 shootings during the same time last year. Springfield police have taken 214 guns off the streets, including 26 ghost guns. And city leaders continue to discuss how to combat violent acts like gun-related deaths. And they are working to provide residents resources to offer peace of mind. Mayor Sarno announced last week that funding through the Shannon Grant Initiative would be open today. Specifically, this grant program utilizes a multidisciplinary approach to combat gun violence through prevention, intervention, law enforcement, prosecution, and reintegration programs to ultimately mitigate violence in the community. Working for you this morning, Melissa Torres, 22 News.